Oh, God bless you. God bless you. All the way coming your way. This is Prophet Daniel Mwatin. Your most trusted name in the things of God. I love you. I'm happy to hear from you. God bless you, Prophet Fitzroy. God bless you. Everybody, wherever you are, we are in a good season. By the grace of God, I've been ministering around in Sierra Leone. It's been so amazing. Mumunina, the last time I was on the school, but I never saw you. You know, God has been so good. There's been amazing miracles. Amazing testimony. God bless you, Prophet Elijah. Amazing miracles. Amazing testimonies. In Sierra Leone. Most of you by now have seen the pictures on social media. We have over 5,000 people trooping in the place in Africa. Yeah, you heard me right. 5,000 people. And the miracles, I can't mention them. One young, one young man that was in my service, the Lord led me to him. And I said to the young man, the Lord is ministering to me. God bless you, name. The Lord ministered to me to let the major prophet in new life, right? God bless you. Good. In new life right now. Good. Jebati, why are you in Sierra Leone? Jebati, are you in Sierra Leone? Jebati, are you in Sierra Leone? I went to the young man and I said to him, anytime you get a dream, an old woman is hitting your back. The young man said, he's about to go for surgery because he's been having pain. I said, wow, this is serious. The Lord opened my eye. I called the name of his wife. That is in England. And I said to him, the wife is going for surgery, but God has canceled it. And the young man confirmed that before coming to the service, he was speaking to the wife. And the wife said, she's supposed to do surgery on Monday. And God cancelled it. Ain't God amazing? In this season, God has been so amazing. Yes, sir, there's more again. Oh, wonderful. God bless you. I've seen that you've been posting most of the stuff on, on the page and you've been tagging me in and most of my followers are watching. That's amazing. God bless you. God has been so good. And we bless God for this time. Partners, I keep on telling you to help me. Help me for me to take the gospel across. Yes, the gospel is inside of me. The anointing is out of me. But I cannot do it myself. I need you. Everybody listen to me. I came with two assignments. Why was Jesus born in Bethlehem, number one? And then my second assignment is that I want you to visit my website now and go and give your seat. Listen, the time right now is 3.36 a.m. Hear me, hear me well. I'm in Africa right now. God bless you, Tanamadu. But the time right now is 3.36 a.m. in Africa. 3 a.m. Somebody asked me, Prophet Daniel, why are you not sleeping? Let me tell you the reason why. Because I've been praying the whole night. If you could hear me, my music was playing. Anytime you hear this music playing, it means I've been, I've been praying. If you hear this music playing, it means I've been praying. If you hear this music playing, it means I've been praying. I've been praying for the past three hours. I started praying from 12, 12 midnight up to this time. Seeking the face of God. When I finished, the Lord asked me to come straight right now and on, the, on the scope. Yes, if you have not given your annual harvest, all the people that promised that you do it in November, you didn't do it. Time is still waiting for you. Go and do it right now. Now, why was Jesus Christ born in Bethlehem? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let me know you are ready. Probably my mother, my money, I've fallen in love with you by watching you on YouTube. Thank you very much. Anybody that watches me on YouTube falls in love with my ministry. Do you know the reason why? Because the ministry is not about me, but the ministry is about God. So they fall in love with me. Why? Because I project Jesus. Anytime you project Jesus, people will have no option now to love you and Jesus. Yes, Ghana just got a new president. I told, I've told a couple of people that this is the verge of something new. Every country that's having an election is getting a new president. Why? Because there has been a paradigm shift in the atmosphere. If there is the same paradigm shift happening in countries, it's supposed to happen in your life. Now, are you ready to know why Jesus was born in Bethlehem? Are you ready? Let me know whether you are ready. When I finish with all of you, go on the website and give a seed donation of $30. Everybody, we can come to tell you a miracle right now. Are you ready? Are you ready, family? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Why was Jesus born in Bethlehem? Let me tell you. The word Bethlehem. Is divided into two, Beth and Lahem. I'll repeat it one more time. Beth and Lahem, B E T H and L E H E M. Beth and Lahem. What is the meaning for Beth? B E T H. Beth means a house. Nani, 
you you um you transcribe this for me beth means a house beth in the hebrew translated coming back to our english language means a house lehem come from the root word hebrew root word a bread aha i repeat it one more time beth means a house lahem means bread so beth el lahem means the house of bread okay and jesus will come back one day and tell us that hey i am the bread of heaven aha jesus came and he says i am the bread of heaven so if jesus is the bread of heaven and he's supposed to be born he is supposed to be born in the house of bread because if i'm a bread i need to be born in the house of bread okay now if bethlehem means house of bread and jesus is the bread of heaven then why is it important that jesus christ will say he is our bread why because the word bread simply means provision bread simply means provision okay why when he was teaching us how to pray he made a statement he says anytime you pray just say our father in heaven our lord in heaven and he says when you start requesting just say this give us today our daily bread now everybody hear me why bread give us today our daily bread this is serious everybody catch it catch it come around the mountain here i am catch it catch it give us today give us today our daily bread so it means although we are in today but i will give you your daily what the meaning for daily every day so although you are in today what you need in every day he'll give to you so if he's giving to you what you need in every day it means bread means provision so jesus christ came as the bread of heaven born in the house of bread to be our daily provision i'm trying my best now if jesus becomes my daily provision then whatever i need in every day of my life is already being provided for me whatever i need in every day of my life is already being provided for my life okay so now if jesus becomes my provision then i don't need to depend on anybody else for my provision but i've got to look up onto the hills because from whence cometh my help so it means he was telling us that look up unto me because i will provide unto you what your father cannot provide unto you and what your mother cannot provide unto you and what your family cannot provide unto you so he goes on down to say this scripture that's what i like he says, for promotion neither come from north, south, east, and the west, but promotion comes from the Lord. So he is the one that will provide for you. So one day, a lot of people were, 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 were hungry. The Bible says 5,000 men. If there were 5,000 men, then isogetically there were 10,000 women. Because anywhere you find men, double number is women so there were five thousand men there were there were i bind you devil i bind you devil if there were five thousand men then there were ten thousand women because anywhere you find men the double is women now if there were ten thousand women then i will prove that there were five thousand children because let's see half of the women have given birth one each although hebrew women like to give birth a lot but Half of the women have one each. So it's 5,000, 10,000, 5,000, making one 20,000. And Jesus got there and the people were hungry. And now here, Jesus, he is our daily bread. So how can the people be fed? He needs a connection to a bread. So a young boy who had a lunch, he had a lunch. And his lunch, hear me, was the lunch that was made for him by the mother for the afternoon. That the moment the young guy becomes hungry, he's got to eat. The young boy says, I will not, hear me, I will not eat my lunch. But I will give my lunch to Jesus because Jesus becomes my provision. 
If I give my land to Jesus, I will get more than what I give out. Kalabosha. Listen. Life will only give to you what you give out. Life can you can never receive what you have never already given out. So this is what happens. Jesus gets the boy's lunch, looks at the lunch, never does any prayer of request. But the only thing Jesus did was this. The Bible says, and he thanked God. He opened his eyes and said, God, I thank you for this bread. All of a sudden, hear me, the bread, hear me, the bread started, hear me, started multiplying. The bread started multiplying. Why? Because he is our provision. He ended up feeding everybody there. The Bible says 5,000 men, notwithstanding women and children, plenty, fed all of them. And they were able to get 12 baskets full, 12 extra baskets full of overflow. Now, why was the basket 12? Why not 7? Why not 20? Why not 5? They keep freezing. No. Am I freezing? Am I freezing? Let me know. Am I freezing? If I'm freezing, it means the internet in Sierra Leone is bad. Am I freezing? Am I freezing? I think I'm freezing. Oh my God. Am I okay now? Yeah, bad network. So the basket that they received was 12 baskets. Somebody will suggest prophet, then the basket was for the disciples. No, let me tell you what the basket meant. The overflow basket. Please go out and come in. No, I can't. I'm very tired. It's 3 a.m. here. When I go out, I'll not come back in. And then they, they try to um, transcribe for me. So the baskets were 12. When the basket became 12, it means every month of the year. I will give you an overflow. You work in overflow. You will never struggle. Family, I love you. I will leave you for now. Internet is not helping me. If you believe in this prayer, go on the website and sow a seed of $30. If you believed in what I said, go on the website and sow a seed of $30. God will give you a divine provision. I love you. I will leave you for now. God bless you. Stay blessed. Bye. Bye.